In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to generate a velocity chart in JIRA. Understanding and utilizing a velocity chart is essential for any project manager who wants to keep track of their team's progress and capacity over time. Let's dive in and learn how you can leverage this powerful tool in JIRA. First, you'll need to navigate to the JIRA platform and access your company managed software project. Once you're in your project interface, simply look at the top bar. You'll notice several options available to you. Look for the option labeled reports. This tab is your gateway to a variety of Jira analytics and assessment tools. When you click on reports, you'll be presented with a menu of different report types. Your goal here is to select the velocity chart from this list. The velocity chart is specifically designed to track and visualize the amount of work your team completes during sprints. Once selected, the chart will automatically generate and display the velocity data for your project's sprints. Here's what makes this tool so versatile. It can transform raw data into an insightful visual representation, helping you assess and fine tune your team's performance. Now let's explore what exactly a velocity chart is. In essence, a velocity chart in Jira is a chart that displays the average amount of work a scrum team completes during a sprint. The visualization empowers teams to gauge their capacity and accurately predict how much work they can realistically commit to in future sprints, avoiding overcommitment and setting feasible goals. The data shown in a velocity chart is crucial. It provides a side-by-side -side comparison, the work estimated versus the work actually completed in recent sprints. This comparison not only aids in identifying trends but also in optimizing planning processes. With these insights, project managers can make informed decisions about resource allocation, timelines, and sprint goals. Visually, the chart typically displays two types of bars for each sprint. The gray bar represents the total estimated work, while the green bar shows the actual work completed. This straightforward visualization aids in quickly assessing whether your team meets, exceeds, or falls short of their sprint goals. By default, the velocity chart displays data for all sprints completed in the past three months. However, you aren't confined to this time frame. Jira allows you to adjust the time frame, providing you the flexibility to analyze longer or shorter periods depending on your needs. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to generating and interpreting a velocity chart in Jira. By following these steps and understanding the insights provided by the chart, you can effectively measure and enhance your team's productivity. Keep analyzing and iterating and you'll consistently improve your sprint outcomes over time.